Hey friends, I have to be quiet because it's bedtime and everyone is asleep. I should be sleeping too, but sometimes at bedtime I just want to stay awake, which is the opposite of sleeping. Do you ever feel that way? I try to make myself tired by counting sheep in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The sheep in my imagination started dancing, and that made me want to dance. And before I knew it, I was dancing along to the sheep hop on my bed. Shake, shake, rock and roll. 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 Then, my mom said to turn off the lights, be quiet, and go to sleep. So that didn't work. Then, I tried to make myself tired by thinking about what I would have to do tomorrow. But that thought turned into what I might wear tomorrow. And before I knew it, BAM! I was at the Cali Fashion Extravaganza. And I was walking the runway up and down my bed and posing for pictures. And my mom said to turn off the lights, be quiet, and go to sleep. I guess I should turn off my flashlight and really try to get some sleep. Oh, there is one really cool thing about my room when it's dark that always makes me feel calm and maybe even tired. Watch this. Isn't that awesome? All these stars were there all along. We just couldn't see them until the lights were completely out. I'm going to gaze at the stars while we check our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. Today's story is from the book of Luke, chapter 9. One day... Jesus took three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, and walked up a mountain to pray. While Jesus was praying, something amazing happened. Jesus began to shine as bright as a star in the sky. His face and even his clothes were bursting with light. But that's not all. Two men named Elijah and Moses appeared next to Jesus. Moses and Elijah were very important people who lived a long, long time ago. They loved God and told others how to follow God. They lived and died many years before Jesus came to earth, but they showed up on that mountain and talked with Jesus. Peter, James, and John had been sleeping, but when they woke up, they couldn't believe their eyes. They saw Jesus shining very brightly next to Moses and Elijah. Then a cloud came down and surrounded them all. And then they heard a voice. It was God. God spoke to Peter, James, and John, saying, This is my son, whom I have chosen. Listen to him. The disciples always saw that Jesus was different, special, and powerful. That's why they chose to follow him. But now, they knew he wasn't just different. He was the son of God. It was like they were really seeing Jesus for the very first time. Jesus had always been the son of God, and he'd been right there with them the whole time but they just hadn't really seen it until that moment. We might not be able to see Jesus like his friends did, but Jesus is with us even though we can't see him. Sometimes I wish I could see Jesus the way that the disciples did, but it is so cool to know that Jesus is with us even though we can't see him. It's like the stars on my walls. I can't really see them until I turn all the lights out. But I know that they're there all the time. Hmm. Jesus always being with me all the time makes me feel calm and safe and... Wait a minute. Maybe... Maybe... Yep! Sleepy. <sighs> I actually feel like I can fall asleep now. Thank you, Jesus, for being with me all the time, even though I can't see you. And thank you, friends, for growing and learning with me. <sighs> see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>